joint venture with other investors so that it's profitable and so that it makes sense. We also went over private money. Uh, I all of my deals are funded by private money. So I talked about how to how how to get private money, how to structure private money, and along with that, I gave you all of the documents that I use in my private money uh, deals. I I gave you um, I gave you um, the my my I gave you my I gave you my credibility template so the template that I share with my private lenders right that will have you looking like a pro uh, and many other documents so if you're interested in getting the full recording of the rooftops and real estate along with all of the other documents that came with it you can click the link in my bio and get access to the wall here office with my Dan the Real Estate Man logo in there. What do you guys think about that? You guys like it? Let me know what you think in the uh, comments. Um, so, yeah, so so this is Money Mondays. Again, we're, gonna, we're, we're, we're just talking about money because I found one of the uh, biggest obstacles that investors have is really understanding the financing piece of real estate investing. A lot of people understand the um, understand the strategies, understand, you know, flipping, understand the buy and hold strategy, understand birth strategy, but they don't really understand the how money plays into all of this, right? Uh, how, how the economy plays into investing, um, how different financing structures work. And so what I'm doing is bringing in experts that I know to just have a conversation uh, around money and, um, and, uh, and, and, and share their points of view. So while I bring Kiana, Kiana, if you're still, can you request again, please? Um, what, what questions, thank you everybody that says, says that it looks good. I appreciate that. Michael, sign official, appreciate that. Kiana, can you request to join again? And I'll, I'll bring you in. Um, but what's everybody up to? What do you, what do you, what do you guys have going on? There we go. There she is. What's up, Kiana? Yeah, I can, I can, I can hear you good. How's, how, how's things going? How you feeling? Yeah, it's, it's yeah. That's good. I wanna, I wanna, I, I wanna hear about it. It's, it's actually been a while since, since I've seen you. I know I normally see you at at, at some brag events or just out uh, or just out and about, but I haven't seen you in a while. I mean, I, I, I feel like I'm still seeing you just through social media, you know. So, <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, so. it's kind of crazy it's kind of crazy yeah we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get into the into the market and and all those things there i always like to talk about how i how i met people because it's always like it's always interesting kind of like how you meet different people and i remember like like you and i crossed paths at uh, a lot of social events right because you're because you are the networking queen, yeah. You are you are all over the place. It's like you got, you know, clones or something. Uh, and and I would see, huh? What you say? Especially back in the day, yeah, yeah. And 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 I would see you, and like we had like kind of loosely met. And I see you taking pictures with everybody, selfies with everybody. I'm like, yo, how come she never asked me to take a selfie? I'm like, yo, what, what, what Bosley or something? Like, you know what? <laughs> It's okay, you know. I'm a, I'm a bit funny looking, but it's all good, you know. Uh, <laughs> I said, I said, man, boy, something must have come. Huh? Hmm. 
Yeah, yeah. So, oh man, thank you. And, and for those who don't know what Bragg is, uh, Bragg is the Black Belt State uh, Alliance group. I'd say a group I started now about five or more years ago, and we do we we meet monthly. Um, it's it's it it is an educational based group, but more so it 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 is a community based group, right? It's it's uh it's it's a space where you can grow go and um and and get information. You can you can get some resources. Um, there's, there, there's a lot of, um, a lot of information there, a lot of opportunity, and most importantly, there's people there that are willing to help you out. So if you haven't checked out Bragg, check out, um, uh, uh Bragg Investors on Instagram, on Facebook is Bragg, and we're actually going to be having our first annual Bragg family reunion. That's going to be September 30th. I'm so excited. This is something I've been trying to work on for like a couple of years now. Um, but we're going to actually do it. It's going to be uh, at Fairmont Park. It's going to be just like a family reunion. You know, all the line dancing and the food and the stage and uh, music and just a good time, but just real estate family. So um, if, yeah, if, you, if you guys are, are, are free, definitely check that out. Like I said, you, you, can, you can check out Bragg Investors on Instagram and uh, Bragg on um, Facebook. So before we get into what's going on now, I want to I want um, the the people on this live and even for myself, I want to kind of know how you got started and 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 real estate and how you segue in, into the finance piece of it. Or I don't know if it was the other way around, but can you tell us how you got started? I can I can because I was around I was around at, at that time buying them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. It's, isn't it amazing? And you touched on a lot of good things. It is amazing. And I think that people take it for granted now because you're right. It was a whole time when yeah, you couldn't just jump on and watch somebody discuss real estate or be in different groups and get all these ideas. Like you might have had YouTube, which wasn't 
it wasn't dynamic. It was just, you could just watch it. You couldn't, <laughs> you couldn't ask any questions. You couldn't do any of that. So people don't realize like how much of a blessing that this is to, to like have this opportunity to watch people that that have the experience, right? I mean, it's a bit of a gift and a curse too because you gotta watch who you follow. But um, but <laughs> but 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 there's this opportunity, right, to be on here and and ask questions and 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 learn is such a great opportunity. And the other thing that that I wanted to touch on, like briefly, quickly, um, is it's dope how early on you got that you got that you got that push to even house hack because a lot of us that that you know grow up in like lower income kind of backgrounds like that's not even nobody's teaching that you know what i'm saying and it's such a game changer like it, even like you said you know it's like you your 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 biggest living expense is being covered by somebody else right so i mean was that was that helpful for you getting to the next level Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. He got finessed. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Well, thank you. I, I, I do. I really do appreciate that. One, one characteristic that I've realized for every successful person that I talk to either like on on this or on, on podcasts or like on in and in, in brag events is like what you said you, you you have to have this you have to have this like rugged like rugged rugged determination this grit right um where do you think that comes from where do you where do you think you got that from you, you, you that that you push through because what you said is true because what you said is true and i think it's one thing that's been sort of glamorized. Everybody makes real estate seem like, listen, and real estate, real estate has been a game changer. I tell you, in my life, I'm doing things I've never, ever thought I would do, experiences being around people. But this shit ain't easy. Like, I'll tell you that all day. It ain't easy. It's worthwhile. It's worthwhile, but it's not easy. So where do you think you got that from?
Yeah, I, I don't know if you can teach mental toughness, right? Um, I think it's something that people have to decide if, if it's worth it for them, right? Is, is the pain, is it worth dealing with the pain to get to what's on the other side? Right. And, and, and unfortunately, some people have never just conditioned themselves to if, it, if it's a little bit difficult, they just give up. If there's a little bit of pain, if it's a little bit of discomfort, they will give up. Like, like I tell the story of when I first, up to my first start, there was people who started with me to my first, first or second property. So we're talking, I don't know, 15 years ago. They had a bad experience with with a contractor and like never went back. Like, yo, I'm done with this. Fifteen years ago. So it's like, can you Im I can't imagine if 15 years ago I allowed a bad experience with one contractor to take me off the path. All of the opportunities and all of the people like you and the people through Brad and people through the experience that I've met. Um, I would have never done any of this if I'd allowed that. So I think that's something that people really need to kind of, you know, really think about. Like you have to condition yourself to deal with some discomfort if you if you, if you want to achieve anything. If and I think that's a mindset thing too. If you believe, if you really look at real estate for what it is ultimately, right, is is people that are trying to achieve financial freedom. Very few people, very few people achieve financial freedom because financial freedom is different than making a lot of money. Some people make a lot of money, but they're not financially free. They have to continue to make a lot of money every year, right? Because of the active income. So if you understand that there's a, it's rarefied air to be financially free, meaning your passive income is more than your monthly bills, right? If you understand that's rarefied air, what in the world makes you think that's going to come easy? Why, why, why would you think it's going to be a walk in the park? It's not. It's not. Mm -hmm. um. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
All of us, all of us, everybody that's everybody that's honest, everybody that's honest is going to tell you that. Listen, I've taken my lumps. There's no, there's no easy street here. You're going to take your lumps. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you, yeah. I mean, and I think that's where being, you know, a part of groups, um, you know, again, like, like brag and hearing stories and. You know, uh, knowing that it's not this like it's just constant road like this. In other words, like a it's more like this. It's like you get in there, but there's some, there's some bumps, but there's some bumps along the way, right? So it's it's um, it's it's a very interesting process. So how did you get into how, like how did you get into the lending piece of the business? No, I can't go there. Nice. Yeah. Um, 
So what was it like? Like it was it was it was was that a hard transition going from the post office to um, to lending? And like what year was this? So we kind of get an idea of the market. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let me let, let me just jump in real fast because you you touched on something that I think is really really important that people need to hear um, is that. You you were networking, but you were really intentional about how you networked. 
right? And so, I mean, if, if anybody has ever heard me speak before, I, I'm always talking about networking. And I'm always saying, and I'll say this again, like networking is a top tier activity, right? It is so much, so so much of what you need is in networking. So when I hear people say like, oh, well, I'm not an extrovert, it's like, I don't care. Oh, I don't really like you with someone. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's like, it doesn't matter. You got to get out there, right? Like, I am not a natural extroverted person, right? I had to really kind of force myself to, to get out there more because I, I knew that it was necessary. It was, and I had to be very, very intentional. Like, after I left SEPTA, um, my, my goal the first year out was uh, I wanted to make $100,000 flipping homes and I wanted to network as much as humanly possible and not have my and and not have my wife leave me. Like that was always my joke, right? So I just go out as much as much as as much as she would have. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. I mean, I was everywhere, everywhere, and what people need to understand is that people can see when you are consistent, like you're showing up and you're engaging and all that sort of stuff. Like it really, really matters. So um, if you're not networking, you really should be. If you're not, if you're, if, if you're not a part of groups, if you haven't, if you haven't been to a brag meeting, if you haven't joined brag, you should definitely check that out. But if it's not only brag, there, there, there are other organizations. There's, there's, there's a ton of events all the time, and you should be there, right? Not just it's good. A lot of times it's fun, right? It's always good to see you and have some drinks and whatever's going on. That's always that's good. But you should be create you. You should be really creating networks. So go on there, like, hey, I really need to meet some uh, lenders. I need to meet uh, some contractors and being intentional about how you're spending your time in there. Um, you know, at those events. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's the truth. Yeah, I've I've I have i have i have i have had I've had life changing, business changing opportunities happen through networking. Right. And it's interesting. All the times it's not directly like through the person that you meet at at those events. Sometimes it's the people you meet through those people. So it's like all these sort of threads that sort of happen. But you put yourself in the best position to win by getting out there and 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 meeting people. So when so so when did you so it sounds like when you first started off lending, you were you were in a residential kind of bank, like a just like a like a regular bank. So when did you I'm sorry, but what, what were you saying? Got you. So when did you when did you start getting into in, into more of like the uh, investment side and the business banking? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, definitely a, 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 a major loss on your first deal can, I think, definitely set folks um, back big time. So, uh, and I, I think now, like, like, like we were saying, with everything that's out there, all the groups, all, you know, all the social media, um, you know, um, some of these courses, I can't, can't say all of them, but some of these courses, it's, you know, I think that you definitely it's it's a it's a better time because you have access to people that can actually kind of walk you through some of this stuff. So you and I learn things the hardest way possible. Like I chug with it all the time. Like I learn everything the hardest way possible. I mean, like I said, and I, and I was on YouTube, but still, like again, there was nobody to really respond to me. All I could do was just watch it, and I had to figure it out. So, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they. I mean, they leave all of the all of the best parts out of it, right? Um, so I, I, I want to kind of talk about what you're seeing in the market now. What you know, as far as you know, how rates are affecting um, both the retail uh, buyers um, and uh, on on and on the commercial side, like what's going on. Um, and, and, you know, what changes ha ha have you seen and maybe what sort of advice would you give to people that's out there now trying to, trying to, uh, either buy their primary home or buy their, uh, investment property?
Oh, they were petrified. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I think I think people that you know people that are 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 scary are going to always have um, a reason. And you're right, 2020, like it, I, it almost feels like COVID was just like a like a, it's like some sort of like like trauma thing happened. And I kind of pushed a lot of it out of my head, but 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 I remember 2020 and being on phone calls because. Like I was saying, I'm 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 always in these different groups with all these different investors, and um, you know, a lot of lenders. I mean, a lot of uh, well, lenders. Um, and, you know, and like the private money guys, was like, well, we're going to be discounting uh, um, um, values by like ten percent, like just arbitrarily. We we're we're going to be discounting values like ten percent. We don't know, and it went the opposite way. Twenty twenty one. Without a doubt, and and the and the twenty years I've been in real estate was my best year ever. It was insanity. I mean, I had a bunch of stuff in like Delaware County that barely went up a nickel in the in the five to eight years I had. In that year went that year went up thirty forty percent. I'm like, yes, sell them all <laughs> before these folks wake up and realize. I'm like, here, y'all can have them. Yeah. 
Yep. Oh, yeah. 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 Let me answer this. Let me. Oh no, go. I'm sorry. Go, go ahead. Yeah. 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 And that's, you know, that's that's uh, one of the things I was saying about about opportunities, right? Um, when there, when rates were lower and there was more money flowing, you had more competition. Now you have less competition because there are a lot of investors that are on the sidelines or they have dramatically slowed down. I mean, I've dramatically slowed down. Um, uh, but if you can analyze deals, if you know what a good deal looks like, um, this is a this is this is a great time because there's like because there are a lot less active uh, investors going after the same deals. I see stuff kind of hanging out there longer. I see that wholesalers have to push deals, or or I won't even call them deals all the time. They have to push pro properties harder. Um, you know so. If you're somebody that 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 now is the time to be really, really strict on your numbers, though. I mean, you should always be. But before you had some, you had some playroom, 
because there was just there was just so much there was I mean such cheap money, and that was on like the no doc side too. It's like super cheap money, and now that's a lot higher rate. So it's like okay, you got to make sure that whatever deals that you're buying is 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 able to cash flow. And keep in mind, I saw somebody put this on in. Uh, um, y'all be killing me with with these IG names, but I think it's like <laughs> I'm not kidding, something Empress. But but you but but you can refinance, right? So that's true. So okay, huh? Huh? What's that? Oh, St. Bill. Okay, got it. Got it. Yeah, I can. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got it. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm not good with the IG name sometimes. But so if it if it can cash flow and the interest rate is is at eight percent and it's a decent deal, imagine what's going to happen when rates drop. And rates at some point, you don't have to be like some sort of magician or some sort of at some point rates will drop. So if it's cash flowing and rates are at eight percent, that's what happens when rates go down to just six percent. Right, you're going to cash flow crazy. So it, yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's, I mean, that's, that's, that's a must. I mean, we've, we've all seen, you know, uh, inflation is going to, is going to eat your money up. So if your money is sitting in the bank, then you're actually losing money, right? So you have to, yeah, you have to find something to do with the money so that it's making a return that's higher than, higher than, higher than inflation or else you're just losing it. And, and the reason why we all know real estate is because it, it, you know, generally it can be that um, it's a real asset, right? Something you can, you know, it's not just the stock market. You can't live in the stock market, right? You can't, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, and Yeah, and and then and then you have the you you know you have the um you have the tax benefits of it of it also. So so there's you know, I think there's always you know a ton of, of of benefits, but I think the biggest part is that people just being clear on their strategy, um, being being willing to pivot. I know I pivoted in this in this market. I'm not doing the large construction rehabs I was doing previously. 
Um, you know, so you you know you have to you know have some flexibility in in your in your strategy so that you can stay relevant in in any market cycle. At least that's my that's my experience, and I, I feel like a lot of the a lot of the investors that I think are, are pretty sharp uh, investors have have been have been doing the same thing. They they've all been pivoting. I work that stuff. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 It's a. It's a. It's a. It's a very. It's a very natural thing for them to see them to 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 see you own real estate or think that owning investment real estate is nothing like ah right. There's no. There's no real flex. It's just like oh, this is what you should be doing. Yeah. It's just like oh. Yeah. Exactly. Like oh, I, I thought. <laughs> I thought everybody had one. So I think I think this is a good place to kind of wrap this up. Um, um, for everybody that 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 might want to follow you, um, can you let folks know where to follow you? Also, let them know you know if you're looking for funding and all all, all those sort of things and what you got to offer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's up, Stephen?
Really? Wow. All right. Well, thank you, Kiana. Always bringing all the good energy. I appreciate you. Appreciate uh, er er everything that you have going on. I um, appreciate you coming out here and, and, and speaking to us about what's going on out there. So, all right, guys, that, that's it for another uh, Money Monday. Again, if you are interested in um, getting a copy of the rooftops and real estate where we went over business credit with uh, uh, Andre Hainsworth. He, he, he taught us how to, how to properly set up your businesses so you can gain access to uh, um, a ton of business funding. He really dropped a lot of information there. <clears throat> I, talked, I talked about hard money. Uh, I talked uh, about private money, how I raised millions of dollars in private money, how I structured it, uh, and where I find find my private money lenders and how I structure my private money deals. And we went over uh, over joint venture agreements too, how, how I create profitable partnerships. So if you're interested in getting that recording and those documents, you can click the link in my bio. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you, Kiana, again. And I'll talk to you later. All right. Bye-bye.